I'm Miss Lynette. Welcome to Book Nook, presented by Forsyth County Public Libraries. Today I want to talk to you about poetry. One of the reasons I like poetry so much is that there are so many different kinds. Poems can be long or short, they can be serious or silly, and sometimes they rhyme, sometimes they don't. One of my favorite kinds of poem is called a haiku. It's three short lines of five, seven, and five syllables. It can be kind of challenging to write a haiku because you have to express an entire idea in a very short period of time. If you're interested in poetry books, they're in the library under 811 in nonfiction. Here's an example of a poetry book you could find at the Post Road Library. This is If I Were in Charge of the World and Other Worries by Judith Vorst. I'm gonna read you a quick poem from this book. Thank you to Shy Simon and Schuster who have given us permission to read this book. This poem is called Weird, and look, it's upside down. That's pretty weird, huh? All right, let's see if I can read it. My sister Stephanie's in love. I thought she hated boys. My brother had a yard sale and got rid of all his toys. My mother started jogging and my dad shaved off his beard. It's spring and everyone but me is acting really weird. If you're interested in checking out your own poetry books right now, of course you can't come into the library for a little bit longer, but that doesn't mean you can't check out poetry ebooks. If you go to the library website, ForsythePL.org, you can find the link for eKids. Follow that link to eReadKids, browse by subject, and find poetry. One book of poetry that I really like is called I Am Just No Good at Rhyming. I hope our time together has inspired you to make your own poetry, but if you don't know where to start, I have a pretty cool craft for you. This is an example of blackout poetry. It's a very simple exercise and a whole lot of fun. All you have to do is find an old newspaper, magazine, or a book that's ready to donate and get creative. One of the things I did is I found a page in a book that I really like and I circled all of the interesting words and then blacked everything else out and it made kind of a neat poem. Another idea is that once you've blacked all this out, you can make your own little designs. You know, maybe if you create a poem about birds, you could draw some birds in there. If you want more information on how to do that craft, there's a link in the description to a video from a channel called Intangible and they'll tell you all about how to do it step by step. If you have a favorite poem you'd like to share with us, or if you'd like to show off your own blackout poetry art, you can upload pictures to Facebook or Instagram and tag them FCPL. Be sure to get a parent's permission first. Thank you so much for joining us for Book Nook. I'm Miss Lynette, and we'll see you later. Bye!